Good evening, everyone. Good evening, all of you. How are you all? Welcome to yet another uh, episode of Boost of Capital with uh, me, Shashwasta. Welcome to the channel of Pratham Test Prep. How are you all doing? What is going on? Good evening. Hello, Dro. How are you all? Hello, Krishna, Ishani. Okay, hi, Dhru. I am good. Anushka, hi. Hello, Arohi. Harshita, hi. How are you all? Okay, good evening. Good evening. I am well, perfectly well. Hello, Stuti, Divya. Shardul, some of you have just met like a couple of hours earlier. I had met you guys. So, some people I met you. Some people I met you. I And so on and so forth. That's like a chain. Like I have irritated some of you yesterday. Another batch of you, day before probably. Hi, Janisha, Ishan. Hello, Samriddhi, Amrita. Okay, wonderful. So, um, you're going to do exactly what we had been doing for a bit now, right? I think it's a good to also do idioms with vocabulary. So, we're going to do another five idioms and another five vocabulary related synonyms with those idioms. And we're also going to be doing some bit of um, menti today. Yes. Uh, see, every I, I do that. Abhi kuch din pehle, I had a six hour long class with a batch. So, uh, I mean, when I say that I was tired, I actually mean I was tired. Like, it's not even something that uh, is, you know, a joke. It's quite true. Janisha uh, has a doubt. Please put slow. You can, if you think it's all right here, you can do it here. If you want to do it on the tele, on my Telegram person, you can do that too. I, I am good. I am good. Chalo. Pele word se start karte hai. And so for the first word that we have today is related to an idiom that we are going to see in device exists in the form of advice only or anywhere you take advice. No advices. Never. Advices kabhi nahi ho sakta. It's just advice. Always, it's uncountable, so it'll never be proven. Okay, all right. So, there is this um picture of an apple here. Hi, Mayang. So, uh, hello, Diksha. What you're looking at is a Greek uh, mythology ka story and it's a related idiom. So, maybe take a guess. I, I think I've done this in some class somewhere. Hello, Ananita. Oh, that reminds me, Ananita is sending some questions on Telegram. I know I have to reply to those. I know, I know. I haven't forgotten. It's just I've had really busy schedules. Okay. Right. So if there's this is an apple and what's happening. Hi, I know, I know. I had been in class ever since I was done with your class and I was in another class. And now I'm here. So is me. Diksha, advice as in C wala is a noun. And advice as in S wala is a verb. So I advise you to do this. It's a verb, but it's an action that I'm asking you to do. And uh, he gave me advice, but he gave me something as a noun. So that's a different thing. Apple of Discord, yes. So um, Apple of Discord basically is, um, it's actually a Greek mythology based idiom. Um, I will have you look at this. Isme, uh, what I need you to see is there is actually a story ki Zeus ne, which is the god, Greek god, okay, uh, had thrown a party. Okay, Zeus threw, threw a party and he did not invite the goddess of discord. Okay, he did not invite the goddess of discord, whose name was Eris, E R I S. Um, when he did not invite the goddess of discord, he she got really angry. Like, 
कुछ ऐसे कैरेक्टर्स की हो उन्होंने साथ ऐसे कर दिया टाइप्स बेसिकली दैट ठीक है सो शी डिड दैट शी बिकेम दैट लेडी वुमन हर चीज में ऑफेंस है ना कि हो मेरे साथ ऐसे कैसे कर दिया हाउ डेयर यू टाइप्स सो शी डिड दैट एंड सो व्हेन ज्यूस थ्रू दिस पार्टी uh he she threw an apple okay which said this these these letters jo bhi likha this is greek letters this in, in if i translate this means callisto which means the fairest okay fairest of all and this created fasad ki jar basically ha huh? there were like so many goddesses competing for this apple so this was like i'm going to give this apple to one of those who would deserve this and bahut sari aisi goddess ladne lagi hera ladi aphrodite ladi athena all of these goddesses started fighting and finally zeus said i am not going to uh, decide main nahi karunga ye decide let let's have paris decide so paris was another person sabne apne apne offers rakhe uske samne ki listen uh, hera ne bola ki agar tumne mujhe ye apple de diya to i will make you the king of asia and europe um athena ne bola if you make me the fairest then i will give you you know i'll make you the best warrior that the world has ever seen athena ne bola ki um aphrodite sorry aphrodite was the goddess of love so she said ki agar tumne mujhe ye apple de diya to main helen of sparta jiski wajah se trojan war hui thi by the way if you, i don't know if you know of greek mythology helen was very very beautiful helen was one of those women jo powerful bhi thi beautiful bhi thi and everybody eyed on that so aphrodite was like um, i will give you and i will let you marry this woman and paris was like ha main isse shaadi karna chahunga aur usne aphrodite ko vapal de diya obviously for aphrodite had to you know go through all of this karna pada us he just promise kiya tha helen ko kidnap kar liya aur wahi se if you heard of spartan war war of sparta ya trojan war ka naam suna hoga ye sari ye war isi wajah se hui thi just because of this apple can you imagine so all of that trojan war all of that destruction of life of property of absolutely everything morals values and all of that was because of this one apple so this is the reason why it's called the apple of discord discord in this situation was not just ladai among you know goddesses ki wo mujhe ye chahiye mujhe ye chahiye but it was actually that big a war then it became a war imagine that is how important this apple played uh, in the history of greece or in the greek mythology so apple of discord basically is um the subject of contention or envy that one thing that leads to a lot of chaos that one thing that can lead to um, you know a lot of tension disagreement fight arguments this that and everything that is apple of discord okay uh, so for discord you can also think of words is really interesting also because it matches a lot with indian mythology can read more about greek uh, where can you read there are uh, books they just like hamari mahabharat hai ramayan hai waisi unki bhi books hain they have odyssey they have uh, troy um and iliad hai unki right so they have i think two major mythological books iliad and uh, odyssey both written by homer you can read them they basically basically what i'm talking about ye sab usme hai so bone of contention exactly so that is that so discord ke liye you can use words like strife hostility uh, you can use words like dissension dissension is also disagreement okay squabbling also fights feud means fights bickering also means tu tu me me chi chi cha cha that kind of thing that is all uh, discord so discord ke all of these words can be used and subject of convention contention and envy matlab something that leads to a lot of fighting so property is often an apple of discord among families ye money property all of these things is generally an apple of discord it's generally one of those things that breaks families or leads to bickering leads to hostility squabbling etc so that is that that's apple of discord that was a first um uh idiom next special then this is another picture that i'd like you to look at and tell me what do you think about this 
what can you explain expect what is it he does look like finessing ko aapka koi character i don't know if he's a character or not but he does look like one because scarecrow's hawa mein hai but can you guess what can uh, we be talking about when saying this and by the way this is a, i i relate with this picture like crazy uh, this is this has happened in my house like so many times uh, there'll always be some rat something or the other as a rat hoga ya cockroach hoga jaise zameen pe maze mein ghum raha hoga and i'll be standing on a chair especially a dining chair generally so if anybody comes and sees that i'm standing on a dining chair everybody realizes ki ha chuha dikha hai ise kahin somewhere she's either seen a rat or a mouse and uh, people will have to start looking for it otherwise she won't come down so basically uh, scared of not just the fact that this person scared of rat but a person who is in general of a very scared nature like a person who gets scared easily so that's the idiom that i'm looking at so yellow belly i think i've done it in one of the mentees earlier so if somebody is yellow belly that means a person is cowardly and easy to scare um that means i am yellow belly when it comes to rats and i am yellow belly when it comes to any anything icky like insects and something that crawls or slithers basically okay so uh, yellow belly is cowardly person so you can now look for words that are talking about cowardly and cowardly jaise words hum use ho sakte hain craven so craven person is also again somebody is very very uh, cowardly pusillanimous covering covering also means uh, cowardly timid and recreant so all of these words are um, synonyms for the word cowardly so he is a yellow belly person who can't be in the same room as a rat it's literally the same with me so i can't be in the same room as a rat either i even if i'm in the room i'll probably be on an elevated area something so i literally jump back because the rat came in front of me see uh, so i'm not i'm not the only one and i'm proud of the fact that there were no rats for a while right now i don't know kuch season chal raha tha ya kuch to tha kaafi dono situ hi dekh rahe that's what but yeah so yellow belly means timorous yes timid timorous recreant like covering cowardly all of that so that was our second word let's go to the third idiom what do you get from this gif how would you describe this person what is he doing what do you think is he doing what is the point of this kya lagta hai kya hai ye khush hai dukhi hai what is he fear of lizard is real ha matlab i'm not very scared of lizards as much as i'm scared of rats i think he's okay by the bond sad life ha huh? sad hai obviously he is walking sadly yeah he is walking in a very sad demeanor he is basically dikh raha hai uski shakal pe ki bahut sad hai i am going to give you an idiom which means to moon about so if you are roaming around sad okay sad ho ke idhar udhar ghum rahe ho kuch bhi kar rahe ho meaninglessly ghum rahe ho just because you're sad you don't have really have anything to do in life because you're sad that's mooning about Mooning about is to move around slowly because one is unhappy or is depressed or is sad. So that person goes around slowly, धीरे धीरे इधर उधर काम करे जा रहे हैं. Does not really have much uh, uh, thing to do, any any specific purpose in life now because that person sad. So that is mooning about. Okay, as if somebody rejected him. So if you are rejected by somebody or especially a crush, you would generally go about mooning. So mooning about means to roam around. move slowly unhappily that is that so a couple of words that you can use for roaming around or walking slowly is amble pootle and bimble all of these three words are basically walking slowly they they mean walk to walk slowly okay in teeno ka matlab is to walk slowly without any purpose and leisurely matlab जिस में जिसके पास जिंदगी में ज्यादा कुछ काम ना हो सो दे विल वॉक स्लोली पर्पज आई वॉज फीलिंग डिप्रेस इन जस्ट मोन अबाउट ऑल डे दैट मीन्स आई वॉज फीलिंग रियली अनहैपी एंड ऑल आई डिट वॉज टाइम ऑफ गो अराउंड डूइंग नथिंग एब्सोलूटली एंड इधर उधर बस यू नो 
passing time that is what mooning about is you can also use the word mooning around so mooning about and mooning around are the same things dono ka meaning ek hai pootle again means to walk slowly uh, without any purpose leisurely walk kar rahe ho that is uh, pootling theek hai so all of these three are verbs to amble pootle and bimble they all three mean the same to walk slowly without any purpose okay let's head to the next one for the next one is this uh what do you think about this picture we as a class i think in one of my classes today i had done this so i'm sure a lot of you would remember हमने ये किया है आज ही किया है एक क्लास में आई डिड इट वन ऑफ द बैचेस व्हाट वाज द वर्ड इफ यू रिमेंबर व्हाट वाज द ईडियम द वर्ड एग हेड एग्जैक्टली सो एग हेड एग हेडेड मींस समबडी हु इज रियली एजुकेटेड एक्सट्रीमली एजुकेटेड वेरी इंटेलेक्चुअल वेरी एरुडाइट ओके ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ प्रोडजी genius sort of a person who is very scholarly knowledgeable intelligent right all of that is egghead so if you calling somebody an egghead you basically saying that person is an intellectual an educated person yes we did it in your class um we can use words like erudite highbrow scholarly and blue stocking now a couple of things here that i would like you to um make sure that you know that when you talking about egghead egghead is um, generally used for males okay hum man ke liye egghead generally use karte hain but if you are saying that a woman is very educated and is very refined and sophisticated in her manner we call her a blue stocking okay so blue stocking is for women egghead is for um, men I don't know for some reason egghead sounds a little more offensive than blue stocking, but that's what it is. Like a nerd, yes. Is the class also on the PSIs? Ah, uh, you mean the one that I have taken? I believe all of the classes you find on the PSIs. So highbrow is again somebody who's very intellectual, very sophisticated, has a lot of etiquette and all of that stuff. So she is married an egghead and she's not very happy. So she's married an egghead and probably she's not very happy because maybe you know this person. It's her brains all the time about scholarly things. But high key, bad करते रहता है. So if you remember, if you know Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory, and imagine if you were to uh, marry Sheldon Cooper, like I'm sure that will not be the best thing in the world, right? So that is uh, egghead. Somebody is very intellectual, very educated, a nerd in that sense, a nerd. चलो. Next पे चलते हैं. All right. Uh, this is another one. I want you to tell me how would you describe this very very beautiful doggy? But in her uh, body language, what do you identify? Egghead. It does sound like it's somebody who's a dimwit, but yeah, that's that's true. Hmm. So what do you what do you guess from here in from this picture? It's such a beautiful doggy though, like such. perfect style and everything but it's a poodle and poodles as a breed are supposed to be very very something which you're going to guess uh in fact my doggo i would say the my doggo is also the same um fashionista no can generally don't want to use blue stocking for men if you want to say that that person is very intellectual in egghead would be better Imperious, yes. Like she has an attitude. Ki I'm better than you, right? That kind of allow. Yes. Okay. That is also another word that we've done. So this person, this not person, but the doggo, clearly on her face she has this smug smile. All right. She has the demeanor. She's basically saying I am better than you. Ah, uh, yeah. Then you who are you? Okay. You like a human. So I, you know, that kind of thing. I pee on you, on the on the likes of you. that is the kind of attitude this doggy has and that attitude can be called hoity toity 
So a hoity-toity attitude is um, proud and snobbish. Proud, again, like that kind of attitude. Ki mujh mein, I am very, very good and I'm better than others. Haughty, exactly. Snobbish also has the same thing that you feel that you're superior to others. Snooty attitude, again, snooty, being very arrogant, uh, high-nosed, um, super serious, imperious, all of these are words that you have already done and all of these mean hoity-doity. The other idiom that you can remember is toffee-nosed. Like somebody who's toffee-nosed would also be somebody who's very snobbish, who turn your turn his or her nose at everything and be like, okay, um, fine, I am better than you, that kind of thing. I'm the best kind of thing. Basically, that kind of attitude is hoity-doity. So she won't talk to you. She's hoity toity. That means, of course, she has an air about herself and she won't talk to just about anybody and everybody. In fact, that's what my doggo also does all the time. Like, my doggo is, um, I, I genuinely feel that my doggo is basically a cat trapped in a dog's body. And I say that quite a lot because I genuinely think that he's a mistake from dog. But um, he is he legit has a has an air about himself and he he doesn't really give people any attention so and you know he has that he has a lot of fun and beautiful doggy in general and i can say ki uske paas jo bhi attitude hai reasonable hai but when he goes down and he meets other doggos he doesn't really bhav nahi deta wo se khada ho jayega ki yeah fine you yeah i've seen the likes of you i don't really like you that kind of attitude he has and um, yeah he i would say is a again a queen trapped in a dog body so that is that let's go to the menti part of today's quiz i love this idiom now i'm going to use it everywhere possible uh yeah i i, I like the sound of it too what you do it is very interesting idiom is swollen head the same pretty much All right, uh, I would like you to now join your um, menti quiz for the day. Now, the thing about uh, today's menti is that this is chill hone wala hai aaj ka menti. I'm going to ask you some really basic grammar questions. So, uh, should not be too much of a problem. Jalwa, in truth, the dog of the group is like this. He does not have to do it. क्या कर रहा है वो क्या करता है वो आता है खाता है सुनता है इज लाइक या ओके नॉट माय टाइप एंड निकल जाता है इट्स जेनुइनली देयर आर डेज व्हेन आई फील दैट ही ओन्स मी मोर देन आई ओन हिम एंड आई एम ओके विद दैट आई थिंक इट्स जस्ट दैट्स हाउ डॉगोस कैन बी आई डोंट थिंक दैट माय डॉग वाज अ डॉग एनीवे ऑनेस्टली ही हैज बीन सो जेलस ऑफ फ्रॉम माय नीज नीज इज बेली 6 मंथ्स ओल्ड एंड he's so jealous of her he has never looked at her um never has he tried initiating any sort of relationship with her and i don't know how that's going to be when she starts crawling and come starts coming down to his territory of the floor i'm really scared <laughs> okay so today's code is 9442887 That's your quote for the day. Join kari liya hai mostly aap sab mein. To aaj hum grammar karenge. You have 15 seconds for each question. And uh, basic grammar hai. So this shouldn't be too, too much. I hope. Let's start with the first question. Here you go. First question. ओके डस के साथ हैव लगता है हैज नहीं इवन दो एनी वन इज अर प्रोनाउन यू वुड स्टिल यूज अ प्लूरल वर्ब विद इट वेरी वेरी सिंपल लॉजिक एक्चुअली वेन एवर यू यूजिंग अ मॉडल वर्ब देन आप उसका वर्ब uh, का बेस फॉर्म लगाते हो या फिर प्लूरल फॉर्म लगाते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऐसे हैज एनी वन अगर मैं बोलू फॉर एग्जाम्पल हैज एनी वन वॉट अ पेन 
सो दिस सेंटेंस इज ओके आई एम यूजिंग हैज विद एनी वन विच इज ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट पर जब मैं इसमें डज लगा देती हूँ तो देन दैट चेंजेस टू हैव फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई सी शी सिंग्स वेल अब मैंने शी के अकॉर्डिंग पे अपना वर्ब लगाया है सिंग्स विच इज प्लूरल आई एम सॉरी विच इज सिंगल अब मैं इसमें कोई भी मॉडल लगा दू तो देखना जो प्लूरल आपका जो सिंगुलर वर्ब है वो प्लूरल हो जाएगा सिंपल एज दैट सो फिर शी डज फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ आई से शी डज सिंग वेल तो डज लगाया तो सिंग्स का सिंग हो गया इवन दो सब्जेक्ट यूजिंग वर्ड सिंगुलर माई वर्ब हैज चेंज टू प्लूरल ओके या फिर इफ आई से ही कम्स योर एवरी डे ओके We are talking about he, which is a singular subject. So using the symbol singular verb. Magar if I say he must come here every day. Now things change because I have used a model here. A model verb must use हुआ है must के साथ हमने देखा तो verb now is no longer singular. It's become plural. So with model auxiliary verbs, you generally tend to use a plural form of any verb. So model auxiliary verbs could be ought to, should, must, will, can. Uh, does mm, may all of that right all of that leads to ye sare aapke modal auxiliary verbs hain aur isme hum normal verbs ko plural banate hain i hope that that is clear which is why does ke sath hum have lagate hain okay let's head to the leaderboard 27 if you have answered this correctly and 13 haven't okay so there's this i think this is i don't know is this arohi She is the fastest, or he is the fastest again. You will have to confirm. Uh, Sneha, Groot, and Nandini, Dragon, Noor, Pop, Siddharth, Janesha, Harshita. Um. Okay. Let's get to the next question. Question number two. she dealt with the baby well or she dealt with the baby well good so she dealt with the baby well deal koi word nahi hota deal is no word the word is dealt so the past of deal is dealt um and also the past participle is dealt so has dealt have dealt just dealt that is that uh 33 of you answered this correctly and wow okay mm -hmm. now i think lol which is mishta is uh, on top and uttha groot in the smiley face amy mm. all right okay let's go to the next question question number 3 in dash respect she is like her father okay we're talking about respects respects here means in many ways राइट यहाँ पे रिस्पेक्ट का ना मीनिंग एस्पेक्ट या वेज या तरीके हैं राइट सो इन मेनी रिस्पेक्ट वी टॉक अबाउट मेनी प्लूरल है यहाँ पे एक से ज्यादा रिस्पेक्ट में शी इज लाइक हर फादर मच इज यूज फॉर अनकाउंटेबल थिंग्स योर रिस्पेक्ट इज प्लूरल दैट मीन्स प्लूरल है तो नेचुरली काउंटेबल है इसलिए हम मेनी लगा रहे सो अनकाउंटेबल थिंग्स कांट बी मेड प्लूरल अनकाउंटेबल थिंग्स के साथ आप मच लगाते हो But since your word respects is plural, meaning I am considering this as a countable noun at the moment, and so we're going to be using many, which is also a thing we use only with countable nouns. Okay, so in many respects, she's like a father. Okay. So again, we have lol on top. Urta Panish yeah Panish ka yash root. Right. Let's go to. नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आरोही तो ये है ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर
she was sitting dash the car seat and crying she was sitting in the car seat and crying now you know if you answer this incorrectly whenever you talking about seat you will say in whenever you are talking about elevated something like stool yeah table you will say on so she was sitting in the car seat but she was sitting on a stool she was sitting on a table if she's on top of the table and she is sitting at the table if she is let's say having dinner at the dining table you will say i am right now sitting at a table kyunki main table ke paas hu right not on it but at in we use for seats theater seats car seats uh, movie theater seats normal ghar ki seats all of that is in okay then on in terms of a leaderboard you have okay so yash is on top now leonardo dicaprio tanishka gruton of them all right let's go to the next one the last one for the day question number 5 He said he dash call back, but he hasn't yet. Okay, would होगा यहाँ पे. Why? Because uh, when do you when you say will, you're talking about something in the future. What is in the past? अब उसने कुछ बोला. He said, all right. अब he said would mean obviously उसने past में बोला. Past में बोला कि मैं तो मैं call करूँगा. Past में बोला मगर. तो will का past हो जाएगा would. So always remember कि will हम सिर्फ उस case में लगाएँगे जब वो उस जब वो situation हमें ये बता रही है कि it's in the present or it's in the future तब will लगेगा. पर अगर Sentence is in the past. You will use would. Uh, so it is in the theater or at the theater. But it depends. If you are so in the theater is correct. If you are watching a movie in theaters, because theater then becomes a confined space. I will see you at the movies. मतलब I'm going to see you. That's the location. कि मैं तुम्हें वहाँ मिलूँगी. And when you talk about seats, you are sitting in the theater seats. Yeah, I hope that that's clear. All right. So यहाँ पे वो डाइगा विल नहीं पास था एंड ऑन दैट नोट एंड दैट वाज काइंड ऑफ अ टर्निंग पॉइंट आई वाज नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग दिस क्वेश्चन टू बी द टर्निंग पॉइंट बट अ लॉट ऑफ यू हैव इनकरेक्टली आंसर्ड दिस हु इज लियोनार्डो डिकैप्रियोस वन एंड वेशस ऑफ द पर्सन आल्सो सेकंड इन पोजीशन ग्लूट इज थर्ड देन यू हैव शिवानी हर्षिता यश द स्माइली फेस तनिष्का उद्धव एंड अमृता Pass me back to the future. Okay, exactly. That's when you use would. All right. So that's how I'm gonna take your leave. I hope that this menti wasn't too difficult. In fact, it wasn't. To be honest, it was one of the easiest puns that I've made so far. And um, I'm gonna see you on Friday, most probably. Right. Um. And other than no, not on Friday. I think I'm gonna see you on Thursday next. So I'll obviously be sending you the link on your group. So um, uh, stay. A little aware on that, a lot there. Also, I hope you have uh, subscribed to the channel. So whenever I'm going to be on on live, I will obviously you be notified about it. But I think it's going to be on Thursday. Then we'll see you next, not on Friday, because I have a, I have a class that time around on Friday. Diksha was Groot and Ishan was that smiley. Okay, wonderful. Take it. So I hope you have a good night and and a good week coming forward. Take care of yourselves. Be good. Stay safe. I'm going to see you very soon in classes. I'm going to be very tired. 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 I'm going to be